Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed ramp a video in Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that video clip in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and we'll drag and drop that video clip onto the timeline. So here we can see the video clip. Let's just zoom out a little bit here. And it's just this guy with this uh, angle grinder causing, making these sparks. And we just want to speed ramp this right so at some point we want to slow it down and then speed it back up again so let's go to the very first frame make sure we're on the very first frame and we'll go over to the effects and we'll click on speed speed here make sure you click on the video clip it will turn yellow like this and you can see the speed indicator here right now it's set to one so it's at its original frame rate it's running at 23.9 frames a second here 24 frames let's say so the truth is, um, the video clip that you put into Magic's Movie Edit Pro, if it's running at 60 frames a second or higher, uh, you're going to get better results with speed ramping. 24 frames a second isn't the best to be used, but at least you can understand the concept and then maybe you can get a higher frame rate content and then you can um, improve your speed ramping, right? The higher the frame rate, the better the speed ramping will be. So, let's go ahead and click on this video clip and here we can see the keyframe tools here and we're going to click on this little dot here to add a single keyframe right and we're going to move across so we need to make sure speed is selected and then we click on the keyframe to add that keyframe there you can see it's play speed written here as we move across the guy moves his hand off of the angle grinder or off of this piece of metal and then he moves it back down again so just before he's about to touch the angle grinder or, or touch this piece of metal again we want to add another keyframe so let's add a keyframe here so between these durations the key, the speed of the video clip is going to remain consistent and then as we move down to about here just a few more frames forward we want to uh, change the speed right in fact we'll probably move this one back slightly let's move it back a few frames you can just click on the the um the actual let's just move this you can just click on the keyframe and move it right you can move it to wherever you want let's say around here so let's see this is all consistent speed and then around here just before the sparks start to fly we're going to add another keyframe and then we're going to set it to 0. Uh, let's say about 0. 0.4 yeah so we're going to reduce the speed you can see this gets stretched out so let's just zoom out a little bit this this um video clip will get stretched out because we slowed down the frame rate the slower the clip is the longer the duration will be so let's move across the timeline now and we can adjust these keyframes afterwards. So he moves off of the, um, you know, off of it slightly here. So maybe around, let's say around here, let's see, probably about here. So let's see how many, actually how many seconds that is. So we're on five seconds here at the moment and we're going to move across the timeline, let's say to about 12 seconds around here. Let's say around here. So we're going to add another keyframe here. Let's add another keyframe then we're going to jog forward a few more frames and we'll add another keyframe here but on this keyframe we're going to set the value back to one let's set it back to a value of one here so if you click on this little eye here it will actually show you the speed ramp overlaid on the clip so let's zoom in a little bit here maybe you can see this a bit clear if i zoom in so it's got a red line here it might not be too easy to see if you click on the clip you can actually click on this little red dot here and you can change the color so maybe you want to change it to let's say white for example maybe that'll be a bit easier to see now you can see the white line like this and you can adjust the speed ramp directly inside the clip here as well you can drag the handles and increase or decrease the speed ramp right you can play around with it in here to adjust the speed so as you're dragging this you'll see the speed at the top there will will, will change as well i'm going to undo that let's just leave it as it was and let's just see so it should slow down here and then speed back up afterwards so let's play this and let's check it there you go so normally objects which are moving across the screen the, the speed ramp will work a bit better but it really depends on um, what you want to achieve. I thought this would be a good example because you've got sparks flying, you can see they're moving quite fast. 
um, you can adjust it like I said the frame rate really determines how good this um, particular effect will be you can click on these keyframes these specific keyframes if you were to click on one of them let's just click on this one right here this is where we slow it down to 0 0.4 so we can slow it all the way down to 0 0.5 and we could gradually speed it up over this duration because as it's going between here and here it's actually increasing to 0 0.4 there's almost like a speed ramp going upwards. We can actually probably click on the clip. We don't actually see it in there. So let's turn the eye back on. You can see there's a slight increase here in the frame because this one's set to 0 0.25 and this one's set to 0 0.4 and then all the way back up to one again. So you can play around with the settings. It's really for you to experiment with now, but that's how you go about doing speed ramping in Magic Smooth Edit Pro. Like I said, you're probably better off trying to find a higher frame rate video clip if you've got a mobile phone, try and find frame, uh, uh, film something at 60 frames a second, or if you can get a clip from the internet at 60 frames a second, you're going to get better results. Remember that you're slowing down the video clip. So when you take a 60 frame a second video clip and you slow it all the way down by half, really you're running at 30 frames a second, right? You started off with 60, 60 frames a second, and all of a sudden you half the speed and you're at 30 frames a second. So you're your video content will still play smoothly because you've got those 30 frames a second which is typically the right sort of frame rate um, for when we're creating video content anyway so high frame rates will work better when you're doing speed ramping let's go ahead and minimize this that's the end of this tutorial just showing you how to do speed ramping in Magic Smooth Edit Pro Plus 2020 I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial